Unique in conception, the paintings of Arthur Schick carry a political impact as powerful as an atomic bomb. His background encompasses a one-man campaign against the Axis, which started in his native Poland and mounted in intensity after his arrival in the United States in 1940. Since then, his caustic cartoons have become more popular with young America than pin-up girls. Uh, as an artist who always believed that art is not my aim, it is my means, and so he used his art uh, to fight against uh, injustice and tyranny. And in fact, he saw himself as a soldier in art. Propaganda sometimes has a negative connotation. For motivating America to get involved in the war, Schick used his art as propaganda for a just cause. In addition to attacking the Nazis during the war years, he created a great deal of uh, anti-Japanese art. It attacked the Axis, the Vichy French, Mussolini. He went after personalities. When his art appeared, one needed to write no essay or commentary on it. It was a statement in itself. It was an indictment of evil. It was an advocacy for the oppressed. It was a, a force uh, to be reckoned with. On he was certainly uh, vicious in his art, which was also beautiful. There was a, a combination of a certain sense of, of uh, going after an enemy, but yet having striking beauty at the same time. It's almost like it doesn't fit, you know? He was a man who, while America had a mission to fight, you know, Nazism and its racism abroad, Schick was willing to do that, but at the same time, it's like, you know, his, he had no blinders. He was willing to look around him and see what was going on in American society and was willing to attack that at the very moment that he was fighting on behalf of America against the, the Axis in Europe. So if yet it's, uh, being an upstander or standing up to injustice or facing up to history or facing history, uh, Schick was willing to uh, look at the, not only the history but also the, the, what was unfolding in his own time that later on we might be looking back at as historical fact and say, you know, here's somebody who stood up, here's someone who counts for something, here's a message to be delivered. And I think that here's a visual artist who's painting a visual image that he hopes will stand up to time. I, I think he's done it pretty well, it's just that the world is just about discovering it now.